And we begin with new developments in Iran's nuclear saga. Satellite pictures show Iran may be trying to destroy evidence at one of its alleged nuclear facilities. And that is putting more pressure on the U.S. and other global powers to convince Iran to let U.N. inspectors in before there is nothing left to see. National security correspondent David Martin is at the Pentagon this morning. David, good morning. Good morning, Erica. We're talking about a military base outside Tehran, which is called Parchin where back in 2003, Iran is believed to have done work on the trigger for a nuclear weapon. Inspectors from the International Atomic Energy Agency went there in 2004 and were unable to find anything. But Parchin is a very large complex, and they want to go back and take another look. Iran has uh, turned down two requests to go to Parchin, but now satellite uh, coverage has revealed what uh, uh, some photo analysts believe is earth-moving activity uh, underway at Parchin, as if they were trying to remove uh, contaminated soil that might contain uh, traces of uh, radiation. And the, sus the suspicion is, of course, that uh, if Iran now relents and lets uh, inspectors into Parchin, uh, there'll be nothing left to uh, find. Uh, David, Charlie Rose here. There are reports from one newspaper in Israel uh, that there may have been some kind of deal between the Prime Minister of Israel and the President of the United States having to do with Israel getting more weapons and agreeing to delay what it might have planned to do in terms of a strike against Iran. Yeah. Well, administration officials uh, insist there is no quote unquote deal. But if Israel requests more bunker-busting bombs and, just as importantly, more aerial tankers, um, they will almost certainly will get them. Tehran is 950 miles from uh, Tel Aviv, so Israel needs aerial tankers, and much of Iran's nuclear program is buried underground, so it needs bunker-busting bombs. The more capable a strike Israel can launch, uh, the more it can afford to wait. And the longer it waits, the more time there is for economic sanctions to convince uh, Iranian leaders to, to give mm -hmm. up their nuclear ambitions. That's President Obama's objective. That is. Uh, anything uh, but a strike. Okay. Is there much disagreement within the American military having to do with whether a strike would be effective if, in fact, it was carried out? I haven't heard any. I think everybody agrees that obviously the U.S. has enormous capability and could do significant damage, but you're never going to find it all, mm -hmm. and a strike will only uh, uh, double Iranian efforts to go ahead with a bomb. David, thank you so much. <clears throat>